I want to build a model that allows me to serve 10 plus new listings a month. How do I do this? What needs an upgrade? I had two habits I thought I'd share. Be in the office by 8 a.m. every morning. Conduct a daily directions meeting with myself until I have a team to meet with. Many thanks. Okay, great question. So let's follow the same process we would for any sort of paradigm shift like this that we want to make. The first thing that I would do is I would spend time really reflecting on what that model looks like. So journaling on 10 plus new listings a month. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What do I see? I would visualize it. I would practice visualizing a little bit every day that specific paradigm shift of 10 plus listings. I would get details out of that picture of the type of listings that you're now putting on the type of clients that you're now serving. I would try to get information out of the picture around how they sign up with you, how they make decisions. I would put as much detail as I can into the end paradigm shift picture that you're looking for. Um, that's the first thing I would do because we need to be resolute in sort of the picture that we are moving towards because our subconscious mind operates on pictures. And so from that, we'll eventually look at some habits um, and we'll get to that part of answering this question, but that's the first thing. Then we can identify, we can look at our now reality, Ali. We can look at how we are operating now and notice the gap between what's going on in the picture and how we're currently behaving, how we're currently running our days. And we can identify the difference between the two pictures. And then what we want to do, the next part of it, is then to identify how we can more today be in the spirit of the end picture of the paradigm shift. So where do we maybe have to make a slight change in how we write our emails or how we do our interviews for new clients, um, how we dress, if there's an adjustment in what we're wearing, in the days that we're working, in the time that we're starting work, um, in our study habits, in our health habits. And so then we start to enter into the spirit of the paradigm shift that we want to make. And we start to close the gap by being more of the thoughts, feelings and actions that are in alignment with that end picture. And that will then give you the new habits or the new changes to make in terms of bringing that new model into fruition. So as you heard when I shared that story was I stopped. So one of the things that I stopped doing was I stopped doing discovery calls at any hour of the day. I stopped asking um, the prospect what time they would like to meet. And instead I said, I have a 9 a.m. or an 11 a.m. available tomorrow. Which time would you prefer? So my language in how I was dealing with that prospect began to change. So you can identify in your picture when you visualize how they're doing business with you, the type of listings that will then also influence your social media content. For example, um, uh, we made a very specific change uh, last year running into this year to not use the word entrepreneur as much and replace it with leader a lot more. You may have seen that if you've been with me for a long time. Um, one word in our social media, I said to the marketing team, um, our target market inherently isn't the entrepreneur, it's the leader. It's the person who sees themselves as the leader, who wants to be the leader, who is the leader. So just a slight shift like that to sort of attract perhaps a slightly different type of person um, so that's, you know, we, we constantly sort of are making these adjustments when we identify the paradigm shift that we want to make, um, then where is the next habit that needs to adjust that we're lining with up with that picture. Another example of this in working with the paradigm shift that I'm working on now, um, I said to my team yesterday, I want you to mastermind together on what it looks like, what it feels like, what systems and processes you would have in place if you're onboarding 20 clients a week. So by thinking about what that would look like from the team perspective and from their roles, we're putting ourselves into the vibration of that result, into the vibration of that reality. Do I know where yet the 20 clients a week that are gonna to go to my website and click and pay are gonna come from? No. What is my business though? 
is to get myself and my team into the state of mind where that is now happening thinking, feeling and acting from their roles, looking at their calendars, how would their mornings be changing? Um, what would they be doing? So always with that paradigm shift outcome in mind. So I hope that gives you some work, it, sorry, not I hope, I know that will give you some work to go back and do, Ali, in really, really looking at the picture of 10 new listings a month what that looks like, what it feels like, what you see yourself doing in that picture. We start there and then once we've got a really clear picture of that and we can stay visualizing it, we can 